let's see how to design this part you can start with the front plane and draw the rough sketch you can use the line first and then the rectangle then you can assign the dimensions so before that you can have the one reference line and also one line here and for this I would like to take it as 20, 44 and here it is 64 20 yeah from here to here it is given 64 and then it is 146 now the angle between these two is 45 to make it fully defined I need to make these two lines collinear okay yeah? so next you can use the radius here define value as 15 just to have this in a chain mode and reverse the value and just define it as 12 so that you can have this particular offset and then close the sketch now I need a rectangle to have the revolve feature later I'll assign the dimension the diameter is 52 okay now again I would like to have the offset for these lines so that I can use this as rib later okay just trim the unwanted region once the sketch is ready you can exit now using the multiple contour method we can just use the extrude tool symmetry activate and then use the dimensions 94 here and the 64 for this you can use the revolve feature just to revolve this so just select the same sketch again this is the axis this is the contour which I needed yeah so once you're done with this you can just apply the fillet now so you can use the advanced tool in the fillet that is three phase fillet so automatically it will take the fillet on this face I would like to have the circular cut so you can use the uh, offset tool just reverse it inside and then just drag inside so that the material will be removed you can refer the same sketch to have the uh, convert entities for this line just select these lines and use the convert entities now by referring the uh, rib tool you can just move it inside so that the rib will be created once that is done you can simply apply the fillets on all the corners now we'll simply create the whole feature m6 counter bore so i'll just locate it here and then to again have the one more hole i'll just use the mirror entities then i'll define the dimension 64 and from here to here it is 20 so finally I'll apply the uh, color for this so for the whole model I'll take it as yellow and then for the fillets I'll take it as red yeah that's all thank you